all right hey guys here we are now this is one of those holes in the game that from what i've seen only has one pin i don't know if that's ever going to change i've never never grabbed another pin on this one and what i like to do on this is actually loop bars and the biggest reason is because i really need that side spin also the length is helpful too keeping this within big uh big foot really makes this hole a lot easier <clears throat> So if you can keep this within Bigfoot, you'll, and you'll see, you know, it, if, if you get a headwind, you might not be able to. So you really are kind of pressing with, with these early clubs, you're really pressing your range a bit. And you really want to be up to where I am. Because if you get in between, you can see here's the max line right there. And that's more of the shot that I want to try to hit is something along the lines of this. And of course, we cannot great ball the right. So that's the one thing that you have to protect against here. And there's not going to usually be a lot of rollout here. I'll usually play pretty close to two per ring here. So I'm, you know, kind of focusing on spots here. And I'm just basically looking at shadows and I'm just pulling down to a specific spot that I like. I'm also going to use all my curl because I really don't think that I'm going to miss right. It usually kicks left no matter what you bounce. Oh no, I did the one mistake I said you just can't do. And it looks like it is just gonna, just gonna stay up. You know, you really needed to hit that green. You can see I hit that fairway and that has the potential to run down into the bunker. So I really, really got lucky there. So do not do what I did. If anything, be late. You can be late, especially with all that curl, with all that, uh, with all that side spin. I definitely could have been late on my timing, could not be early. That was a big mistake there. It could have cost me the hole. So, you know, make sure that you're very careful about where you can miss and can't, and, and try to be very adamant about not breaking that roll. <laughs> I try to get just a little bit too aggressive sometimes. That's my biggest, and this is gonna be really tough. So this is one of the holes where I was mentioning, you know, if you have Spectra, you're in good shape. You really need Spectra for this tour. And of course, I just moved my line. So I'm gonna to have to try to short hit this. And it's, this is just gonna be ridiculously hard. Let me show you where I usually short hit to. That's probably the easiest way to go about doing this is I'll show you where I usually would for no power. It would usually be somewhere around here. Now you gotta keep in mind, I have a tailwind and I also have a powerball ball. So I'm gonna, aggressively go short I'm thinking somewhere in here and another great ball let's just see if that it's not terrible it's not terrible so you can see it's just a little bit long and I just kind of got to manufacture that shot and to look at that so I just lost by fractions fractions you know a couple inches we're talking uh, what three inches that I just lost that by so you really need a lot of discipline, and if you have that Spectra, you have a massive advantage. I, I'm having to just manufacture this tour out of thin air because I don't have Spectra. It just will not unlock. Once it does, I'm just going to make sure that you know I get as many cards as I can. But that's the key to this tour is the Spectra. I would have easily been able to put that in there closer with the Spectra. So really be looking at getting that club if you have it. Do not change from that club. That's the one club that you want. So good luck there and I'll see you.